Hey, hey, Ninjapreneur, Missy Dorman here, and today we're diving into something that might sound a bit boring if you don't geek out on it like I do, but trust me, it's a game changer. We are talking about SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures, and why they're crucial for your small home business. Stick with me because this is going to save you so much time and energy running your business. First off, what even is an SOP? In simple terms, it's a set of step-by-step -step instructions to help you and your team, if you have one, carry out complex tasks. Think of it as a recipe or a playbook for your business operations. You might be thinking, Misty, I'm a solopreneur. Why do I need SOPs? <laughs> Great question. Even if it's just you, SOPs can help you streamline your tasks, make fewer mistakes, and free up time for what really matters. Think about a recurring task you have in your business, like writing a blog post. With a blog post, you probably have 60 to 100 tasks you do every single time you want to write and publish a new post. That's a lot, a lot to have to remember in your head, right? and you're likely to miss some steps or forget where you left off if you have to step away for a bit, maybe you have a kid tugging at your leg who needs something, having a checklist to use as a template every time you need to write a new blog post will save you time because you can just work through the list without stopping to try and remember what you need to do next, right? If you ever decide to expand, you've got a playbook ready for you to hand off to your team. And trust me, it is much better to start documenting all of your processes one at a time right now than to feel behind when you hire your first helper. Here are some quick benefits of SOPs. Consistency. Your customers will know what to expect every time from you. Efficiency. No more reinventing the wheel every time you do something. Scalability. Ready to grow? Your SOPs are your growth blueprint. And peace of mind. Less room for errors means less stress for you. Creating an SOP doesn't have to stink or be something that you dread. So here's a quick rundown on how to create an SOP. This is the simple, simplest version, okay? Number one, identify the task. What is something that you do often that takes up too much time, feels overwhelming, or that you dread doing? Start with that. Two, break it down. List out every single step of the process, no matter how small. If it's easier for you, brainstorm your list on the sticky notes. Put one step on each note and then come back and rearrange them into the proper order because maybe your brainstorm got them all wonky, right? Number three, document. Write it down. Make a screen share video, whatever works for you. I like to keep mine in Asana, which is a digital task and project management tool. This makes it easier to assign these tasks to a team member or myself if that's something that has um, you know, a due date on it. Number four, test it. Run through the SOP a few times to make sure it's foolproof. And five, refine it. Make tweaks as needed, right? Remember to come back and reevaluate your SOPs on occasion because things will change with the tools you use or how you run your business, and you will need to keep your SOPs up to date as that happens. In Life Ninja Academy, we work on streamlining one overwhelming process uh, in your business at a time. And a big part of that is creating SOPs. All right, Ninjapreneur, that is the lowdown on SOPs. Trust me, investing a little time right now to create these will save you a ton of mental calories later. So now I wanna encourage you to go take some imperfect action today and start creating your SOPs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on running your home business the smart way, not the hard way. Go do the dang thing and I will see you next time.